Hi, I'm Naomi. And I'm Nicholas from Dandelion Wine. And thank you so much for watching our video regarding our possible campaign. Where we're looking to raise some money to pay for some airfares for an upcoming European festival tour. For anybody who's not familiar with Dandelion Wine, we're a band based in Melbourne, Australia. And we sound... Sort of medieval, trip-hop, electro -y kind of thing. Sort of like a little bit of... And a bit of this. And a bit of this as well. <laughs> Necessary. <laughs> to give you a bit more of an idea about um, the tour and everything that's going on with the campaign, we've asked our good friend and uh, travel companion, Lobsty the Lobster, to ask us a few questions today. So, Nicholas and Naomi, I've been on tour with you many times. What is so special about this tour? Well, for this one, we're um, basing the tour around a couple of festivals, and in particular, Festival Medieval in Germany on the Czech border. We're also going to Switzerland to play at a Tolkien-inspired festival. Brooktail Festival, German for Rivendell. Mm. And then heading off to Estonia. And we're also going to be doing some club shows in Germany and Poland, where we haven't been for a few years. What exactly will the money be spent? In a word, flights. <laughs> so basically we're looking for $5,500, Australian dollars that is, to uh, cover the cost of getting us and some of these things and some of all this electronic bizzo um, on a plane and over to Europe. Okay, but why do you need the money? Surely you're getting paid to do festivals and concerts, aren't you? Yes, Lobsy, thanks for asking that. We are indeed being paid to perform at the festivals. But touring is actually quite an expensive uh, thing to go and do. Um, and, you know, our budget is quite good. We can afford to pay for everything whilst we're in Europe. Things like internal flights, car hire, fuel, accommodation, food. Uh, but we just have uh, a big gaping hole where it comes to airfares. <laughs> if this possible is a huge success and you end up over your target, what will you do with the extra money? Because you know, I got some crazy ideas. Oh yes, we've got another project that coincides very nicely with this tour that we'd love to be able to do. And that's to go and do rec acoustic location recordings of some of our songs in unusual places around the world, in mm -hmm. particular in Europe, uh, looking at castles, uh, forests, Mine shafts. <laughs> Mine shafts. Uh, no, really. <laughs> yeah, that's um, actually one. <laughs> uh, uh, under train bridges, who knows? Anywhere that we find that has a really unique sound and is a pretty interesting location that we could then record and then bring back to Australia to mix and then release uh, an album of live acoustic tracks. Well, I really hope you guys are very successful. Oh, I miss my special lady friends over there in Europe. <laughs> Lobsy, thanks for helping us out interviewing us today. And again, thank you so much for watching this video about our possible campaign to get Dandelion over to Europe for a tour in August 2013. Uh, we hope to see you at a concert either in Europe or in Australia very soon. See you at the merch desk or the bar or somewhere. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>